Hi, I'm Nicholas Schneider here with another update on LNG shipping markets. Global LNG exports increased by roughly 9% in the first half of 2016 compared to the first half of 2015. Most of this increase was driven by new exports from Australia, where four new export projects have started since the beginning of 2015. In the second half of this year, we expect global LNG exports to continue to increase, largely due to the ongoing ramp up in exports from Australian projects and the addition of a second liquefaction train at the Sabine Pass project in the United States. In addition, later this year, Petronas is expected to start up their first floating liquefaction project, and the Angola project in West Africa is expected to resume production. As for LNG imports, most of the increase in the first half of 2016 occurred in the non-OECD region, mostly China and India. In India, uh, first half LNG imports increased more than 40% year over year, as Petronet uh, received lower LNG prices under their contract with Razgas, which resulted in an increase in cargoes from Qatar to India. In China, first half LNG imports increased by roughly 30% year over year, as Chinese customers began receiving LNG from uh, under long-term contracts from new export projects in Australia. In contrast, LNG imports fell in the first half of 2016 in Latin America and Japan. In Latin America, uh, weak economic growth is having an impact on energy demand and LNG imports. And in Mexico, an increase in LNG pipeline exports from the United States to Mexico is displacing the need for more expensive LNG imports. In Japan, weak economic growth and competition from alternative energy sources has resulted in a decrease in LNG imports in the first half of 2016. In addition, while Japan's volume of LNG contracted under long-term supply is actually scheduled to increase this year, they're balancing this lower demand with fewer spot and short-term cargoes, mostly from places such as Qatar and Nigeria. The increase in LNG trade has absorbed some of the available tonnage on the short-term market. At the beginning of this year, there are roughly 30 LNG vessels available on the, on the short-term market, which has been reduced to roughly 20 vessels in recent weeks. As a result, short-term charter rates have increased from around $30,000 per day at the beginning of this year to near $40,000 per day in recent weeks for modern diesel-electric vessels. In the longer term, we remain optimistic. The IAA recently forecasted that global LNG trade will increase by roughly 40% in total between 2015 and 2021, driven almost entirely by LNG export projects that are already in construction. Therefore, we maintain our estimate that to service the increase in LNG trade out through the end of this decade will require an addition of LNG vessels on top of the current order book.